Good morning, kindergartners. How are you today? It's me, Miss Bright. I'm here coming to you from our Sunday school room and I'll show you around. No one's here today. I miss you guys. I hope you'll come to Sunday school soon. Today, we're gonna to talk about our bishops and priests. And before we get started, let's say the Lord's Prayer. We'll stand up and we'll say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good job, everyone. Today we're going to talk about our bishops and priests. And here's a coloring page. I'm going to send to your parents to color. Um, and they want to talk about a prayer for our bishops and priests. It says, Dear Lord, thank you for the wonderful stories in the Bible. Let me stay always close to you like the sheep who stay close to their shepherd. It's about the bishops and the priests because they are the sheep that God gave us to watch over us and lead and lead us. Um, so one day the story starts that um, Jesus asked his friend Peter, who is one of his disciples, he said, Peter, do you love me? And Peter answered, yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Good, said Jesus, then take care of my sheep. So last Sunday, we talked about the good shepherd. And you remember he, we said um, that Jesus is our shepherd and we are his sheep. So Jesus knew that he had to go back to his father. So he didn't want to leave his sheep alone. So what he did was he asked his disciples to take his place. And he asked his disciples to become the shepherds of his flock and to watch over them and to protect them and to care for them. Now, the original disciples' names, there was 12 of them. Um, does anyone know any of the disciples' names? There's Peter, his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, Simon, who was also called Zealot, and um, Judas, son of James, and Judas is Iscariot. So we'll have to review those again, the 12 disciples. But anyhow, the disciples were the first bishops of the church, and they were the shepherds taking care of Jesus's sheep. So the disciples knew that one day they would grow old and die that they wouldn't be around forever. And then who would take care of Jesus' sheep? So they chose other men as shepherds. Do you know who that would be? Yes, it would be our father Theodore and our bishops of the church. So um, Jesus chose, um, uh, we chose other men to be our, she our shepherds. So they are known as the bishops of the church. Even today we have bishops of the church and they are our shepherds. And sometimes the bishops visit our church. Do you know where they sit? There's a special chair where they sit at in the church in the front. I don't know if you've ever seen the bishop, but it's very, very wonderful to see him. And he, he, has, he wears very special clothes and they're called vestments. And I'll show you a picture of the vestments. He also holds a staff in his hand. Can you believe it? I've seen him with his st staff in his hand. And our bishop's name is Metropolitan Sabas. If you hear Father Theodore, he talks about when he's in prayer, he says prayers to our Archbishop Sabas. And our the biggest bishop of the entire church is Bishop Elpidophoros, Elpidophoros, that's his name. So it reminds us of the staff that I'm going back to the story now. He reminds us of the, the staff reminds us of how Jesus um, was the shepherd of his sheep and he used the staff to protect 
his sheep. So that's why the archbishop holds his staff in the church services. That's so cool. And the bishop sits in the special place in the church, and we call that the bishop's throne. So maybe next time you come to church, you can ask your parents, or maybe you already know where the bishop's throne is. It's on the right-hand side of the, the uh, front of the church. Can you remember where it is? Okay, we, um, we're reiterating that. And whenever we see it, the bishop or our priest, we stand, and what do we do to his hand? We kiss his hand. We show him our love and respect because he is our shepherd and we thank him because he takes care of us just as Jesus, the good shepherd, takes care of us. So that's really cool. And another thing that you can do for your priest and archbishops is to pray for them at night. They really, really would appreciate that. So I'm going to show you a picture of the priests with their vestments. And if I can figure out how to turn this around, I think I'll just turn it around this way and see if you can see it on my computer screen. <laughs> there it is. I don't know how to turn this around, but anyhow, there's the priest with the vestments. There's one that's for the um, deacon, like our deacon Jim, and the archbishop is in the center, and then the priest is on the other side of the bishop. So that's so cool. I also wanna show you our classroom. Yeah, here's all our names. Here's your names hanging up. And here is your little boxes that Mrs. Porcaro sent. One says Leo. The other one says Nico. The other one says Theo, Jonah, and Georgia. So we miss you all and we hope to see you soon. Thank you so much for listening today. And I hope that um, you have a good week and we'll see you soon. Come back to Sunday school soon. Bye-bye.